It took planning and patience to host 9,150 graduates and more than 35,000 spectators over a five-day period at one location, Johnny United Stadium. It's an all-new playbook and it takes many hands to figure out everything and we've worked together as a team to get everything coordinated. A graduation playbook that was subject to change at a moment's notice. It's been 18 months since we've been able to hold an in-person commencement so to be able to have our graduates celebrated in person it's just a, it's a fantastic day. Taylor B. Brown. The School of Education took center stage for this morning's graduation. Towson said it decided to combine graduations because students were willing to wait their turn, even if it came a year later. And it's what most people didn't see that helped the university carry out its first pandemic-style ceremony. COVID has made it interesting, obviously, um, with the numbers and the mask mandates and the different things like that. So it's been challenging with just a lot of time and energy and coordination with all the departments within the university. In some ways, what's taken place over the past week has served as a dress rehearsal. There was an afternoon graduation as plans are now being made for more than 37 high school graduations that starts this weekend. On the campus of Towson University, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.